Libra, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 22nd to the 28th of March. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Libra, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future. I'm going to clarify the cards for you and pull some advice. Your challenge for this week is the Three of Wands, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so your challenge this week is the Three of Wands, okay? So for many of you, there is possibly um, something here. There's two stories I have. The first thing I have is, for some of you, you wanna achieve something. There's something here, um, but it's something that you're planning for. It's a, it's a distant, type of um, plan that you're making here. You know, the Three of Wands often is a plan. It's a planning card for me or a card of vision for the near future. Um, there's that and I'm also getting for many of you, you're waiting on someone, okay? Or you're at a distance from someone. There is um, definitely something that you're looking forward to here, okay? We're gonna see what this is. We're gonna clarify and see. In the recent past, Libra, you have the High Priestess, the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Someone here has been very silent, okay? In the past, they've been very silent. I think the reason why there's been a lot of silence, we're gonna see when we clarify, is possibly because someone here in the past was trying to figure out if they wanted to really invest in this, if they really saw themselves um, moving into the future possibly with you, okay? There was a lot of healing that needed to take place in the past, possibly because there was something here that happened that caused pain in the, in the distant past. Um, but there was a lot of evaluation in the past, you know, whether or not this is something that you wanted to be in and whether or not your person wanted to be in this situation, okay? So in the present moment, you have the strength, you have the Eight of Swords, and you have the Eight of Wands. There is a lot of communication coming in right now in terms of why something is the way it is, okay? A lot of you feel stuck in some sort of situation. You are trying to endure as much as you can, Um to move forward out of this situation, but it is something that is keeping you stuck. There's something here, okay? We're gonna see what it is. There's definitely signs and communication coming in about this situation. We're gonna see, all right? In the near future, you have the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Wands, and you have the Chariot. A lot of you in the near future, I see you having a new beginning and, and moving forward, okay? You're moving forward and having a new beginning because whatever you are, in, um, whatever you're experiencing right now or whatever you're feeling stuck in isn't really moving forward and you really want to move forward. This is what it's talking about in the near future, okay? So we're going to clarify and we're going to see what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Libra, is the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse, the Five of Pentacles here in reverse, and the King of Swords here in reverse. What is no longer working in your life, okay? I've been getting this for a long of the signs this week um because spring is here okay spring is coming so it means dropping what has not been working and moving forward to new growth what is it that you're planting in order to move forward something here that you thought was going to be long term may may no longer seem long term to you why because there's a lot of abandonment issues here okay maybe somebody abandoned the situation in the past and even though there is a desire for forgiveness there's something about you not being able to forgive someone or vice versa there's something here about not being able to forgive a situation because of something that happened in the past okay so let's do some clarification and uh let's see what's going on for you Ooh. so the first card that i'm going to clarify for you libra is the three of wands three of wands The 
three of wands is clarified by the eight of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, and the moon. There's a lot that you don't know about the future, okay? And I think that this is a challenge for you this week because things are moving super, super slow for you, okay? A lot of you have been working or you've been working on some sort of craft to... Um, to distract you from this situation, okay? There is someone here that's coming in slow, but you don't know what to expect from them. There's somebody here um, who's super unpredictable when it comes to the connection that you have with them, okay? And this is a challenge for this week to, um, to ask yourself, you know, is this situation worth waiting on? Because some of you are waiting on someone here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, and you don't know much about it. But you're definitely willing to work on it. There's something here about willing to work on something that you don't have 100% clarity on. Okay, this is your challenge this week. Waiting on something that you don't know if it's worth waiting for. All right. So in the recent past, I'm going to clarify the high priestess. Someone here was silent in the past. They weren't really um, communicating. Let's see why. High Priestess is clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Lovers. Some of you were dealing with a Gemini here, okay, in the past. I'm getting a lot of resistance between you and this person in terms of the, um, the happiness, the relationship that you and this person um, were to have together. And I feel like there was a lot of healing, okay, a lot of healing. There was a lot of concerns, you know, um, about what was already put into this relationship in the past and how it would be moving forward in the past so there was a lot of resistance here okay let me see why the four of swords in the past four of swords is clarified by the six of wands in reverse the two of pentacles and the chariot Someone here wanted to um, possibly make a decision, okay? I feel like this is your person. Could be, could have been you, Libra. Someone here needed to make a decision in the past about whether or not they wanted to move forward in the situation after a failure, okay? Six of Wands for me in reverse is failure. It's something that is not um, achieved or accomplished here, okay? There's no victory in the past. And even though there was no victory or something here happened where you and this person had a falling out, there was still this belief that, yeah, you know, we can move forward. We could still, we could still make a decision to, you know, move forward positively in this situation. Okay. So there was a lot of contemplating about whether or not something was going to work out here after some sort of failure. Okay. In the present moment, Libra, you are feeling stuck. Okay. There's a reason why you're feeling stuck. We're going to clarify and see why this is happening for you at this time with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Okay, there is a concern about whether or not you are going to have a reconciliation with someone, whether or not what this person is offering, because I do see this person offering um, love to you. The question is, is this enough love for you? Is this enough to satisfy you? Some of you are not satisfied in the situation right now, and this is why you're feeling stuck. But you're also getting important messages at this time in order to move forward, okay? So um, whether or not a reconciliation is going to work, whether or not you're going to repair your family situation or your relationship, um, there's signs. So what are these signs trying to tell you about this situation that you do feel stuck in at this time? What are the signs trying to tell you right now, Libra? The Eight of Wands is clarified by the Fool, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. A lot of you right now are being called to move away from something, okay, that's making you feel like this. 
Whatever is making you feel stuck, whatever is making you feel held back, you really need to evaluate this situation because I know for many of you, Libra, you've been trying to fight through this situation, okay? Possibly since August of uh, last year, you've been trying to fight through the situation. And this situation is coming to a head right now. It's coming to a head. Meaning you are being called to move out of the situation six of swords this is what the cards are saying okay um you're getting deliberate signs messages clues that this is what you need to be doing okay and by doing this a lot of you are going to experience a brand new beginning okay a brand new passion beginning possibly maybe with an aries i'm getting um, aries energy here um i'm also getting sagittarius here i'm also getting maybe an aquarius okay Either way, you're moving forward out of a situation. Even if it's just you moving forward on your own, it's because something here in the present moment is not working for you and you, even in your home life, something about your home life, it's, it's, there's um, something that's making you feel stuck. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. Something that you're trying to endure, you kind of need to move out of that situation is what it's saying. Okay. So in the near future, what this leads to is your new beginning. So we're going to see what this new beginning is all about for you because you will be moving forward. Okay, this is what the cards are indicating here. So tell me about this new beginning that's happening for Libra. So the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Hermit in Reverse, and the Hierophant. In the near future, you will recognize that you've been thinking, um, overthinking the situation for far too long. Um, and you start to realize something about connections, relationships, marriage. You start to realize something and you start to realize that maybe there is a possibility to have a new beginning with a water sign here, okay? For some of you, a Virgo comes back. That's not for all of you, but for some of you, a Virgo from the past um, comes back. This is about a commitment here that's happening for you in the near future. After you decide to possibly drop something, um, you will be moving forward. You will be looking at relationships differently. There will be an opportunity possibly for a marriage here in the near future, okay? Um, you know, completely with someone new or someone different here, okay? I see whoever's coming in for you, Libra, is very stable. Queen of Pentacles, this is somebody who could really offer you a lot of support and love, maybe even some sort of financial benefits here um, with this energy. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles coming in for Libra in the near future. The Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Five of Cups. There's a lot of inner conflict that's happening for you in the near future, but what this is doing is it's allowing you to recognize why you need to move forward because a lot of you... Um, even though you know that you're going to be moving forward very soon, there's a little bit of hesitance here. And I think a lot of you are just wanting that confirmation in the present moment. Okay. Whoever's coming in for you is really going to help you recognize why something didn't work out in your life. And I feel like there is a new connection that's coming in for you. Okay. Or a more successful connection that's coming in for you from someone who's a little more stable. Okay. What you don't see coming, 10 of pentacles in reverse and the five of pentacles, something that you've kind of left um, you're now realizing there's no point in investing in this anymore. Uh, something that you thought was going to be long-term may not end up being long-term. Why? Because you've withdrawn from it. You no longer care for it with the page of swords in reverse. And you know that things aren't really changing in this situation. And it's definitely with a soulmate. Okay. Someone here that you've had a lot of, um, conflict, maybe in the home. This is somebody that you have a lot of memories with someone that you are very connected to, but you're recognizing what's no longer working Libra. And I think this is, um, this is the like this is how you're making a decision about this situation moving forward. So let's get some advice for you. Let's get some advice for you. So the advice here is the page of wands, the justice and the ace of swords. Wow. Wow. Look at all the clarity that's coming in for you. The advice here is, is to recognize the truth, recognize the truth. It's in front of you. It's staring you in front of your face. Recognize it. OK, 
Okay, recognize what's not working and act upon it. And by acting upon it, I mean move into a completely new direction. It may be scary to move into this new direction, but this is what you're being called to do, Libra. Okay, this is the advice for you. So I hope you got some. Um, I hope you got something out of this reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.